Hello everyone. This is what we're going to do today. Mm -hmm. Hand in a downward position with beautiful gesture, beautiful shadows underneath, dark here. And that's a relief. That's a 3D. But it's been drawn so beautifully. It's a drawing, but it's actually from a cast um, uh, a cast hand. So it's um, uh, it's possibly mm, it's a well, it's a three D it's a three D relief which is being drawn basically. It's a drawing from a three D cast plaster. That's it, plaster. That's what it is. Okay, now I'm just sharpening the charcoal here. Sharpen the charcoal here, and then making that flat. I can keep that dust because I can use it later on for my for different shadows that I can use here. Okay, keep that down here, so it's always handy to have it down here, so you can see where it can be used. Okay, now before I start. Take that angle here, as you can see. Take that angle. That angle here. Well, that's the cylinder we've learned. That's the cylinder. See? That's this, this area. Now, from that, I can get a line which is actually that diagonal it's not straight it's not a vertical line it's a line which goes that way which tends to go towards the left then it bends here and it moves straight down look at that see look straight down like from that point moves right down there right down here right down there that's my a gesture line. That's as I said is the cylinder. Then you have another line which seems to be to run parallel to this. So the thumb, the core of the thumb, hmm, runs parallel to this line. Now an imaginary imaginary line here will be something like this. It's not there the line, but we know it's not there, but if it was, it would be something like this. So there you are. Hmm? Then the thumb, if I run that line straight down, I will move off that vertical line. So the thumb, look, the thumb stops here. I'll stop the thumb here, okay? And if I drop a vertical line from the thumb down, the index finger is within that line, so look at that. So if I drop a vertical line here, the index finger, it doesn't go to this line. Look, it stops here. There is a distance between these two, so look. An imaginary vertical line, look here. Another one there. So there's a distance of about a centimeter and a half here. So if I was going to do that hand at the same size as this one, my drawing, same as that, that will be approximately a distance. Now, okay. Now, whilst I'm down here, which is down here on me, is down there on the original. Then you have another line coming this way. Hmm? Look. And that gives me the other finger. The, uh, the middle finger. Hmm? You have the middle finger here. From that line. Then, then, I have a, I have a axis which almost run par parallel, parallel to this. If so, do you remember that line? It was from the bone structure, from the wrist here, right down, and then this one here. It's not exactly parallel to that, but it's something like this. Hmm? That's the middle finger. And after that, 
if I squint my eyes, I will see that all these knuckles, they just lines up, they do line up with this. Hmm? Okay, let's make it a little bit less complicated. I've done these two. We, we so far we are done with these two, which is index finger, middle finger, index finger, middle finger, here, here. Now let's take that one here then now, hmm? that knuckle line which moves and connects all the four knuckles here. There you go. First of all, this is at the same angle as the uh, thumb. So look, vertical line, sorry, horizontal line from the thumb there and it connects with the little finger. There you are. Now, what do we do now? Now we do this. Hmm? From the thumb, which ends up here. Now I've moved the thumb up to this point. That's my decision. But if I drop a vertical line, as I said, the thumb is a distance between the thumb and the index finger. So you see? Now we've done we, we've moved we've moved to that from that axis we've moved to this which is that little middle finger now let's move and take an all the line from the thumb and connecting all the four knuckles here hmm? I'm talking about this again an imaginary line if it was to connect all for all four of them something like this now Another thing I need to be aware of here is to um, the little finger, that vertical line, if I drop a vertical line, look here, goes to the ring finger. So vertical line from the wrist gets me the ring finger. And that ring finger is at this, huh? this is at this oval line. There. And now the small finger runs almost parallel to this. There you are. Top of the small finger. And from the wrist, from the wrist, and move that. Not a vertical line. It's slightly vertical line is to get the that vertical line was was used to get the ring finger. But there's an inward line which moves and then connects the small finger to that. You see? So this is the, uh, the design of the hand. Wrist, delicate line, then small finger, then here. Then here we have the other knuckle. Then here we have another knuckle here. And middle finger there. There you are. So I've got the mid middle finger, I'm creating that thickness here, which is that, the middle finger. Index finger, which, as I said, it will end up here. Sorry, index finger, yeah, that was index finger, not middle finger, index finger. And then you have the in inside part of the middle, in middle finger, then the um, thumb. Here we are. Hmm? I've got the basis now. So what I can do, squint in my eyes, squint in my eyes, you should do the same, and you will see that starting with the darkest dark, you have one, two, three, these are almost one uniformed shadow. That's somehow a part and this one here. So if I had that three parts here unified, that would be the shadow, something like this here. The shadow of, from the knuckle, from the knuckle downwards, from the knuckle downwards, then another shadow in between, and then I found a, mis I found a slight mistake here on me, because when I've done that line, which is this one, it's not as steep, it doesn't go up here, it's more like this. So that index finger, it's more extended down here. So I'm still keeping, look, I'm still keeping the same, I'm still using the same axis, huh? the same axis. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
μέσα. Ε, στηρίζει μέσα οι μάξεις. Ε, I still use the same, but then it goes, the finger moves a little bit further down. Okay, and as we said, dark, 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 dark. And even squinting your eyes, you will see that this is really dark. Even the inside flesh part of the index finger is very dark. Now, what we forgot to do, which well, not, we didn't forget, but we left it for the last thing to do, is the knuckles at the top. We have a knuckle here, knuckle, two rows of knuckles, up, down, up in the middle. Now that is, these knuckles are located at, look, almost the middle, one third of the thumb. So the, if the thumb is here, then these, the knuckles are here, up here. Huh? And then, Shadow, shadow, get in that, get in that line here, which is this one here, and this is that, this is that, knuckle here, knuckle here, and that area is, is not as far up as this, it's lower. So it's almost the same horizontal line with this, so it's down here. So the actual thumb is not as long as what it appears to be on me. It's shorter. Oh, come on. Oh, this little charcoals are dropping constantly because they're so small. Okay, got it. Then you have the shadow here, and then you have the hmm, middle finger, vertical line, the end of the middle finger, look what I'm doing, middle finger, vertical line, the end of the middle finger goes right up here. There. Hmm? And knuckles here, and then not forget the shadows, this dark shadows here. Complement the hand and a half tone. This is a half tone. A half tone. We'll do it again. Look. Dark tone. Less dark tone. Middle tone. Lighter. 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 And then the lightest tone. So if it wasn't the scale, okay, that's the darkest, that's lighter, that's even lighter, no, okay, so, dark, less dark, let's make that pitch dark. Because it's not, not not going anywhere here. Less dark, less dark than that. Dark and then even darker than that. Lighter and these two are very light. So on that scale, the darkest darks, which is this one, 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 two. Three, four, five. The first one is here. That's the darkest dark. And you have a shadow here. There you are. That's the darkest dark. And actually, it, it peaks, the dark peaks right up here, which is the tip of the thumb. Uh, sorry, tip of the index finger. Then, let's not forget the fleshy part of the finger. Then you have this part, which is the knuckle here. Then darker here. 
and thumb again, middle finger. knuckle again and here I'm lost and you'll be lost because it's so dark so let's take it and be as simple as possible here so the darkest darks it's the border it's the it, I would say the cast the cast shadow is the darkest dark here and that brings you see that makes the finger pop out so that's number one. Number two, number two is here. And number four is here. And that is number five here. It's really light. See? A bit of knuckle line here. And then you have the, let's go for the thumb itself. Let's not forget that dark area here. Nail. And I would say number four is here. Number no, number one. Number one is here. And you have number three here. You know the value number three in value of the darks that we're using and that is number five that's number five that's number that's number five that's number four here slightly darker and number six number six is the lightest light here see six So we are here number five, and of course number six is up here, we're not touching that. Now here, that area, to me looks like number four. So this area, in value, in intensity, is number four. That's how I perceive it. Might be wrong, and doesn't mean that I'm some, sometimes I I tend to darken things a lot more than they actually are sometimes not always again problem with the charcoal problem with the charcoal but that gives me time to think whilst looking for charcoal gives me time to think where where to go next with the shadows Okay, let's do those beautiful delicate lines, middle tone here, um, see, and then darks, so you have an indication of the finger here, of the nail, not finger because we got finger, this is number one, internal value very dark that's also number one here and it moves as it moves inwards it becomes number five so number one at the edge and number five as it moves in something like this and at the top it's really really light but there is not look do not make much same mistakes that I've done look you see that area, that line, it's almost not there, it's not defined. I've done I've gone very dark, look. So take it off. Take it off. And also come as I'm coming here, dark. I could emphasize that dark because that dark by emphasizing that gives him gives them the turning point of the hand. There you are. And dark here. And some darks, sh you know, shadows or background noise a little bit here. I call it noise sometimes. It's not noise, but you know, just gives that beautiful um, 
three D effect, and also number one again. Yeah, line. See. Okay, I've gone probably overzealous with that. Um, over bone, overgrown bone structure. Okay, now looking again, looking through the camera, and this is very dark. These are number one, all this one, number one, number one, darks, number one, number one. They're all number one, these darks. So let's get them going here, especially the shadow. cast shadow of the thumb cast shadow of thumb and something that's gone wrong here do not make the same mistake you see the bone going outwards do you see that uh, it's gone inwards only so it's a mistake going outwards. The bone structure goes outwards. There you are. And could bring that index finger forward a bit. Increase the dense the intensity of those wrinkles here coming with some more darker darks here and getting really dark here in the between in between the fingers and 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 getting that in between here bone structure becoming a little bit darker than I intended to but it's not bad to increase to incorporate those darks into the design of the of the hand the shape of the hand and take some of these look dust and use it utilize it here look And a little bit of that is also, that's number six. Here I'm number six. Not, not the light, sorry, number five. Because number six is the lightest, the lightest light. So we're here on number five. Number five, 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 five here. And do not darken that. Look, look at that. It's like a sphere, but it's not dark. It's a half tone. A, vert, a, a round move like this and then come right down and do it again here a line that will this is the but it's very soft so do not do not overdo it huh? because it's really soft look those lines are really soft here I'm, I'm talking about this look they are there but you can barely see them and of course because it's a female mm, looks like a female hand I'm not sure but it looks like a female hand so it's quite delicate and the bone structure is not very strong here not always because there are some obviously I've seen a lot of female hands which they have that bone structure very visible this one is hidden it's quite fleshy it could be a could be a child's hand I mean, I'm not sure what that is. Could be a child's hand, actually. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We do what we have in front of us. They have the darks here. And very, very dark shadows here. Look at that. Yeah. 
loads of darks here as well and half tone half tone half tone this is number four here here now what i've noticed is that i brought the hand i mean the index finger uh, sorry the thumb looks a little bit short on me so but it, although i I've, I've measured it and we we were very I mean we agreed on the size of it on the design of it but I think it looks a bit short so sometimes even the measurement cannot help you out so you better do if it looks wrong if it looks short if it looks wrong if it looks not where it needs to be then it's wrong so let's extend the design the shape of it and look at that look at that look look how that brings up look it's a line coming like this so it's a it's like a very very stretched s curve so it's something like this do you see what i'm doing here okay and oh charcoal again okay and then this is will willow charcoal by the way willow charcoal and a little bit of shadows here i'm going number number one here in value value is this dark less dark these are values tonal values or middle tones or dark tones these are the values so i'm number one here as an in intensity number one here as well okay and it's very soft dark here Let's move and softly bring those darks here. Okay, I'm going to dark now. Now with Putty to the rescue. Hmm? Move the Putty like this, like a chewing gum. The putty needs to be soft. The softer, the better. So whilst I was drawing, I was keeping the Putty on my left hand side. And it's warm it takes the body temperature now you move it and you take it takes the shape you want and you start revealing those half tone these are number five these lights not six not the lightest number five so these highlights are not very bright don't forget they can be very bright there but they're not um, they're not overall very bright. That makes me the you know, the the, um, the skin 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 tone. It's the skin of the obviously of the um, wrinkle. Now that is very light, and then I can bring that actual line a little bit lower lower here. And then lose that line here. Look, While I'm, whilst I'm darking, uh, brightening up the shadows, that line is being lost there with the background. Look at that. That's the same. Just lost it, lose it, lose it there. And then you have a look. If you squint your eyes, you will identify a core white shadow, light shadow. Uh, sorry, light, light, not shadow, light, all across the the. Uh, all across the thumb. There you are. There. So I'm talking about this light coming through. And whilst I'm here, lose the line there. Look, there's no line here. 
You see? No borderline. Like, look, there's no line here. But look how soft that line is. Look, it's almost not there. Can you believe that? It's almost not there. And especially up here, look. Do you know what that is there? Mm. Well, in my view, in my theory is that that one here, that one there, which is so bright, is this fleshy part. Whilst you're like this, like that, yeah, that's the that's the hand, it's the right hand. And this is that that one here. Hmm? Yes, I mean you could not see because my hand is full of wrinkles, but this one that doesn't have any wrinkles, so not the best model, but uh, close enough. Now again, come back and do that round bit here, look. See that sphere? I'm talking about this one. And then that highlight here, look at that. Right here. Not ignore that. Look at this. See that highlight? And it is right there. Okay, and now, as I'm moving downwards, see those skin tones here, wrinkles, let's do that, look at those wrinkles here, and here as well, well before I do that, take some dust, and move it inwards like that. And inwards here in the middle. And here we are. And look, from the two first index middle finger are darker than this. So at the top here, these two middle finger and the index finger are slightly darker than the ring finger. Do you see? Do you agree with that? Yes, I can hear you saying yes. Okay, that's good. Well, you can see, look, they look like slightly darker in tonal value than this, and the ring finger. For, for the same reason, because, well, for the reason, not for the same, for the reason that these two, as they're moving down, the light illuminates them less, and this one is moving up, slightly upwards, so it catches more light. And if you squint your eyes, you will see that that line that I've done it dark here, actually it's not as dark. It's the flesh tone which is dark, actually. There you go. And the flesh tone here. Okay, now let's come with the putty, sharpen it up, the same as um, like, a, like a knife here, look, you see the profile of that, look how sharp that is, cut down here, one line, softer half tone, A little bit more wrinkles here, S tiny bit more. Get this highlight here, here, and this as well. And then we have pull that bone structure. See that bone structure, that highlight here? See that highlight? Look light and then the light moves upwards and this is it is this one that we said earlier on instead of doing it with a um, with a line as such you can do it with light with putty rubber yes you can brighten it up with putty rubber 
and then that area or that line just disappears and actually what I can bring a little bit more into this is that cylinder shape do you remember the cylinders we were early we were done firstly there we are okay and that line is very dark Okay, softly, softly removing that and giving it a darker, darker tone. Okay, going back and forth, back and forth, a little bit lighter up here. Yes, why not? On the main thumb. And look at that. The background becomes one with a... Look, the background takes some dust. And then move the background here, look. See, it's nice to add some background. Creates perspective, creates depth, creates amb ambience, atmosphere. Beautiful. It's vital, actually. It's not only that it's, it's beautiful and aesthetically nice, is that it works with that. It works. You need that. It's like the eye looks for it. And look what I'm highlighting is that darky. See that dark number, I would say is number three in, in intensity, in darkness, in value, in, in pushing it, let's say, how much pressure I'm putting. Actually, I'm very much, very little pressure to be honest, but is it how much dark you will put on there? It's number three. So it's not that, it's not this, it's number three there that's the intensity of now because i'm moving look it's becoming like a dark dot and because i'm running out of light on this thing or less see the charcoal is all here now with that just use middle finger and get it and make it you know bring it back softly moving it like this okay now but what I need, what I need, I think, is this light here in the middle. I've lost that. So let's bring that light in the middle. This one. There, there. Right up here. Don't want to lose that. It's important. And still, still, I need to make it even more angular here. I'm talking about this angle here that I've lost, almost lost. See, don't rush it, you don't need to rush the drawing. The quicker you do it, sometimes it's not the best thing to do. Take your time, sometimes leave it. Uh, I would suggest that I probably forgot to in, to to emphasize this as much as possible leave it sometimes and then go back next day or go back hours later or days later even and then leave it but when you leave it leave it to a place that you can check it and see it every day and you will see and compare it with the original with a picture that you have on the phone or print it even you can print it because the printed image, the printed image will help you identify the values even quicker. I mean, how much darks you put, you're putting, how much light you're putting. So the printed image could help. I mean, I don't mind myself because I'm more used to it anyway. But uh, if you need, if it, if you see, if you see that it's helping you more to print it then go for it. Printed image would be good. Then bring cast shadow, a bit darker here, and emphasize that dark again. I'm not doing any much, I'm not doing much more to it. 
is back and forth, but it's not changing dramatically. So I'll leave it because when you see that it's not changing, that means that it's the end of the line. You're not doing any much more. So leave it. I'll create those wrinkles here again. Leave it because it's not changing. Or go back, as I said, the day after and put some more dark if you wish to or if you, if you feel like. And start adding those hmm, wrinkles here again and here as well. But before I do that, I could give it a slight tone, but we said that's the lightest, the brightest finger, so not to give it too much or a lot, just a little bit. Uh, a little bit of darker tone, just a tiny bit darker tone. And bring that light, make it work on the background, see, brighten the background, and that creates the line. Sometimes you don't even need, you don't need to do it with a, with a charcoal, just brighten the background. And I could do the same here. See? Okay, now. And we light it here and light it here. Okay, I think it's good enough. I mean, I could go in more darker than that. A lot darker, let's say. Hmm? Bring those. The lines, the darks here, do the number one, all of them. But to be honest, it's a bit like pushing it. To, it's like pushing it to the border. To the the end of to where it where it probably will break. So if I do a lot of darks here, the dark will be so powerful, number one, that it will actually attract all the attention from the the, the attention will go to the darks instead of looking at the whole image. So sometimes it's to leave it. And also watching here that looks even darker when you see it, but when you see it through the camera, but I'll, I'll I'll go close to it and you'll see that it's not as dark as it looks on the camera. Okay. Bit of highlight here. Middle. Bone structure. And then here. And then the bone structure here. And then those softer, softer tonal values here. There you go. Softer tonal values. And then bring the bone structure again. Look. Instead of doing with lines, with a charcoal, you can do it with the uh, putty rubber. And here as well. Then a bit more hmm? wrinkles here. And a few more here. There. I think it's good. Good enough. Darks. And then look here, here, here. Middle finger. You can actually do the lines even with your fingers instead of using charcoal. Sometimes it's more accurate. And take that, instead of using putty, use your finger, your clean finger here. Or even the pinky, small one. No? Look. Softly merging those lines. Okay, I think it's good. It's good enough. Let me see, what's the date today? Ninth.
something that would be better here is those middle finger. See that dark here? It's a bit darker here. Actually. It's a bit darker here actually. Yeah, so hmm? darkening the ground. You're darkening the where the finger finger stands. culminating to this very dark edge here, which is this dark edge. Softly, and then bring that highlight in, right at the edge. My ring finger to the highlight, and then softly merge the ground here, which is the plaster foundation or the, the ground where it's been plast the plaster basically there we are okay see you on the next one